um, just like a, a dinner to everybody get to know each other. They announce all the all the athletic um, advisors and just everything. And it's just like a cool event. And one thing that I really, really stood out was the fact that Bob Kustra would get up there and he would really say that that you know we don't cut programs here at Boise State. Then this is quote: We don't cut programs at Boise State for Title IX. We add programs. It's not something that Boise State does. So for him to come now and 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 just cut the program and, and not give any answers and not talk to anybody, it's, you know, what does that make him a liar? It makes him a liar, right? Um, I think everybody in the wrestling community in Idaho is pretty upset about that, um, you know, for his pet project of having baseball. And and it's not a Bo Boise State, it's not a baseball versus wrestling thing. It's not because I love baseball, baseball personally. But there's a there's a chance that, that something could be done. And I, I think that Bob Custer just doesn't, He's not giving the opportunity to like sit down, hey, let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. Let me tell you what's happening and um, let's try to work around this. Instead of cutting programs, instead of um, you know, leaving kids nowhere to go uh, for wrestling, you know, let's try to make it work, work for everybody. Um, you know, if they, if they try to raise the, the prices for, for uh, the student fees just for the new program, then you know, if you, if you be public with all that and you and you, you put it all out there and you get the community behind you you're gonna have success with it you know doing stuff behind people's back behind closed doors it's just you know it's it's shady really and you know as, as where we stand now it's like I'm here you know I'm a professional fighter um, I wouldn't be anywhere I am now without Boise State so that's why I'm here trying to fight for um, my program our program Boise State's program because there's a lot of like high school kids that are signed letters of intent 11 actually signed letters of intent to come to Boise State now yeah they're honoring their scholarship but uh, they, they don't come to Boise State really f just for the schooling you come to Boise State on a wrestling scholarship to wrestle because we wrestle hard and we're good at what we do we have you know, numerous conference championships, two national champions, Olympians, and um, you know some of that. Some of that stuff is is um, you know some better better uh, than the football has done. You know, it's not not saying as money wise, but I'm sure. saying like in the fact that um, you know winning conference championships, winning big tournaments, um, being known in the wrestling world. Wrestling's a blue collar sport, and um, it's always been here at Boise State. It's been here for 60 years. So for them to cut it like that, it's just it's. It's it's horrible. Since uh, it's been roughly about two and a half, three weeks, from that point till now, the impact has obviously grown to the point where Dana White, Sweena, Misha has been a part of this as well. The impact is getting larger and larger. Do you feel that it's starting to get heat on the administration here at the school to say, hey, we need to figure this out? Yes, absolutely. You know, when I when I heard about it, I wanted to come here and to see how I could help any way possible. So I'm using my platform as far as being on the Ultimate Fighter, uh, the season 25, and reaching out, knowing Dana White, knowing Misha, knowing uh, um, all those other fighters, and trying to get that word out there because from the outside it looks like, hey, they just cut the program because obviously why? Because Title IX. But in our case, here in Boise, that's not the case. You have Bob Kustra who's ignorant and, and very arrogant to not even sit down and have a conversation. So I'm, you know, I'm challenging you, Bob, to have some integrity and come out and address the community because you owe the community, you owe the kids, and you owe the alumni um, a, a response. You owe them an explanation. You owe them something. You can't just, you can't just ruin these lives. You, you owe the coaches. You know, these coaches that came in um, last year, uprooted their families, you know, um, Coach Mendoza recruited me from South Cal State Bakersfield when I was in high school. Went on a recruiting trip there, was about to sign with Cal State Bakersfield, but I decided, you know what, I'm a Bronco. I'm going to stay in Boise. So, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm challenging uh, Kustra to come out and, and talk and don't hide behind, you know, closed doors. And, and I'm using my platform, my media platform, to reach as many people as possible. And I know Dana and, and all those guys are huge wrestling supporters and um you know they haven't really seen the fight yet it's you know there's a lot more coming is it gonna get bigger is there surprises along the way that i, I know that you guys are still working things out that you might not be able to tell but is there other surprises along the way that you can share yeah i mean they, 
it's it's only going to get bigger you know the only the, the thing that we're just trying to do really as far as like the mma and wrestling side is you know obviously mma is really coordinated with wrestling um you know wrestlers make great mma fighters but it's just letting people know what's really going on what's really going on with the pet project that that, that Custer's talking about um and there, there are, you know, there's going to be a lot more people behind us and there's going to be a lot more people supporting. And you know what? As, if we can just get them to talk, that's, that's a win. That's a start, you know, just get them to talk. And, and, you know, I'm sitting here at Boise State here and I feel like I can't just um, go up and talk to the president of Boise State because I feel like he's hiding, you know. Anything else that I didn't ask, Johnny, that should be said or I should have asked? Yeah, no, pretty much got it. You know, I'm just, like I said, I'm just happy to be back here and, and fight for the Boise State wrestling program because it's, you know, it's a successful sport and people are, are really passionate about it.